The BBC is interrupting its normal programmes to bring you an important announcement. This is BBC News from London. Buckingham Palace has announced the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. In a statement, the palace said the Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and the Queen Consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. BBC Television is broadcasting this special programme reporting the death of Her Majesty the Queen. This is BBC News from London. Buckingham Palace has announced the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. In a statement, the palace said the Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and the Queen Consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. The death of Her Majesty brings to an end the longest reign in British history spanning eight decades of immense change. Throughout that time, Her Majesty was the one constant presence in public life, a head of state who personified stability and reassurance. Her life had been dedicated to the service of the people and her reign was characterized by a steadfast sense of duty. Elizabeth was just 25 when she came to the throne in 1952, on the sudden death of her father, King George VI, as Britain was still recovering from the Second World War. She was sustained by her 73-year marriage to the late Prince Philip. Her strength and stay, as she once described him, was at her side for three major jubilee celebrations. Elizabeth II was the most widely travelled head of state in history. The Queen of 15 nations, head of the Commonwealth of 54 countries and territories. Her Majesty's death brings the second Elizabethan age to a close and a long and momentous chapter in British life, a reign marked above all else by a sense of service to others, a reign unlike any other in the long history of Britain and the Commonwealth. Our Royal Correspondent, Nicholas Witchell, is with me as we report the news of the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II.